All right, guys. Well, I bought another bus. Um, this is uh, the second bay window bus that I've ever owned. And um, man, I don't even know what to say. I'm so excited. I've been really looking forward to getting a bay window bus again. And uh, yeah, I'd like to dive in and make a lot of videos on this thing as I repair it and clean it up and, and uh, you know, get it presentable and whatnot. So yeah, let's do a quick walkthrough. Um, this is a 74. It uh, does run and drive, uh, but it runs kind of poorly. So I've been told I haven't tried to run it yet, but yeah, it's kind of interesting. You know, it's got this interesting custom interior, obviously that someone did. It's got this really kind of cheap paint job that um, they just painted over everything, you know? So um, yeah, it's definitely kind of ghetto. You know, it's got these flames yeah those are legit you know this cool mirror which it's like super round you can see with my hand as a reference very long um oh and it's got this totally not custom no i'm kidding it's very custom and not from the factory um yeah this is like a moonroof sunroof thing pops up so someone put this in and uh those are like the three most interesting things, the mirror, the flames, and the roof. But um, yeah, it just needs some love. It's not terrible uh, as far as condition. It's obviously not as rusty as my last one if you look back at some of those videos, but it, uh, it has its spots. You know, if you look in certain areas, it definitely has its spots, but overall, not bad. Um, Let's come back here, check out the engine. Like I said, it runs, so I've been told. Um, you know, I'm pretty amateur. I don't really know much about the buses, even from my last one, you know, I learned a little bit, but I didn't have enough time to spend on them, but I've done a little bit of research here and there. But anyways, I'm excited to learn about this thing and dive into it and uh, try and get it, you know, presentable, uh, running good and uh, just clean it up and you know I'm not sure what the future is with this bus um I uh, was thinking about selling it but I'm you know also thinking about keeping it so yeah this is the the new bus this, I'm calling it the blue bus for obvious reasons um it's got the flames anyways um <laughs> I really like the tire in the front too it's a nice touch but uh it's a beautiful morning out here in Southern California. And uh, yeah, just excited to work on this bus. So just gonna start documenting it, but this is kind of like a an introduction. How about <clears throat> take a look on the inside. It's got this like custom interior as you can see, but um, I mean, you know, uh, <laughs> It could be worse. I did peek underneath, you know, there is some rust in the floor pan. So a little bit of, you know, rust there. Surprise, surprise. The frame is all but good in a few sections. Over here, I was noticing this is going to be kind of a doozy <laughs> trying to figure out how to fix this. Um, you know, I'm not sure sure exactly how it's supposed to look but it doesn't look right to me and then there you know just some things but luckily when I bought this bus I actually bought a package deal and I bought three buses and uh, this is just one of them so the second bus is a 72 that's in amazing shape it needs no metal work it just needs paint and to be Put back together um and the third bus is actually just a parts bus it's uh stripped of everything but the metal so i have this metal bus it's at my buddy's house it's parked at his place and uh i'm gonna be using that to 
you know, take whatever I need, um, including, you know, some minor things. Uh, this door, I think I, there's a better door available. You can see that one's kind of beat up, missing a piece. Um, and then just some minor things, like as I, you know, take a better look and make a list, I'll see what I need. But the main thing uh, I was gonna maybe take from the parts bus is the roof. So I could potentially cover up this sunroof slash moonroof. So uh, yeah, that's something I've been debating. Um, I'm not like a huge fan of it. Uh, you know, I think it kind of decreases the value and uh, you know, it just is a, an issue for water leaks potentially in the future. And you know, um, I think it's uh, kind of cool. <laughs> I don't know, it's kind of torn, but on, a, on like a practical level, it doesn't make much sense, but on a cool level, it's it's high up there in the cool coolness uh, scale. So anyways, um, let me know what you think. If you think I should, uh, you know, just take it out and refurbish it and reseal it, or if that's crazy, or, uh, or uh, what you think. Um, I'm most likely gonna try and weld the new roof piece over it and just patch it up, but I don't know still thinking about it um my plans for the bus right now uh it, like i said it runs and drives but um it needs a little bit of work i need to get the fuel tank kind of cleaned out and see how it's looking um i got a new carburetor that i'm gonna throw on but um you know i'm gonna check the compression and go from there and there's a few wiring issues uh, i gotta check the bus has uh two ignition switches so yeah not really sure but figure it out um i mean it runs and drives so first things first get the uh new carb on clean the fuel tank you know try and get it to run good and then i can kind of diagnose the engine and then um i i don't know where to exactly go as far as order of things if i paint the bus that's going to be last but I think I'm going to start with functionality, uh, figure out the wiring issues. Um, and then I can kind of move on to some other things like, you know, welding up metal, uh, the interior. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Uh, the best thing would be to take it all out, you know, really clean up the bus, probably repaint the inside too, and just kind of do like a full restoration almost. But, uh, I also don't know what I want to do with these seats. Um, I don't really like them, to be honest with you. Like, they're all right, but I'm not really, like a huge fan. So, um, I think I'm gonna go, I have an extra bench seat, so I might just throw that in here. And uh, I don't know, I'm still thinking about it all. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about that too. If you have any suggestions or ideas or, you know, any comments, positive, hopefully. <laughs> but no, for real, let me know if, uh, you have any ideas on what you think I should do with the roof and with the interior? Everything else is pretty self-explanatory, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm super stoked to get working on this. And then uh, you're also gonna see a lot of videos of the Westie coming up. So get ready for that. But um, yeah, this is the blue bus. I haven't named it yet. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna dive in, see what we got. So stay tuned and uh, Follow along, you're gonna see a lot of videos of this thing. You're gonna see a lot of videos of my Westie. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, all right guys, take care. Uh, have a great week, have a great day. Until next time, peace out.